unity. We meet again. You probably don't know this, but my game development journey started in unity. I, um... Have I... I might have sh I've shown this before, but I... I made a game. It wasn't even really a game. It was just sort of a, a 3D... Uh, 3D model demo. It was called Gobbersville. And it was, um... Well, like I said, it wasn't really a game. It was just a bunch of... A bunch... Just so many, um... Cubes. Just in different shapes to, like, make, like, a... Well, I had a whole idea for a game, but I could never, um... Learn how to code. Until eventually I did. And, um... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just show you real quick what it was. And here it is. Gobbersville. Yeah, so, um... If you look around, you'll notice that literally everything in this world is, is just is, it's, it's a cube that has been stretch, stretched and squashed and given a texture to um, a number of things. For some reason, H is the key to open doors, so that's kind of strange. But yeah, we've got um, this this <laughs> this sort of suburb. Um, can I sprint? I can't sprint. You can see a gi just a titanic building. And um, this thing as well. This little, little poly tree. I did not make that. I stole that from something. All these textures, of course, as well. So this was, this was my first attempt, oh gosh, at making anything in a game engine, um, more or less. Um, I must have made this like, maybe like four years ago or something. There's a car, okay. Um, oh, oh gosh, it's getting laggy. For reference, I've been using Godot for maybe like a little over a year now. So, and that's sort of when I like actually got into game development. So this is, this is a long time ago, Gobber Mart. Now I made this texture, this, this icon, um, myself, or not the clip art. Anyways, uh, yeah, oh, we've got a little piece of money on the counter. So this is it. This is it. There's no mechanics or anything. It's just a bunch of 3D things in a blank world. Alright, enough of that. It's time to give this another go. I've uh, gained some experience from developing with Godot. Let's see if I'll be able to apply it to Unity. It uses a completely different programming language. So I don't know how much I'll be able to do. But, um... We'll see. All right, let's create a new project. <gasps> oh my gosh, that took so long to load. That's that's one point for Godot. Uh, should I? I think I'll. I, you know what? I think I'll. I think I'll keep tally of um, the pros and cons of each engine. So um, that's one point for Godot. Also, Unity forced me to like create an account and get like a license to use it. So that's another point for Godot. All right, what are we looking at? So this is our, this is our scene. Okay, that's familiar enough. Let's see. I guess this is our, this is our node tree. All right, inspector. Okay. So let's see. So this is the camera. That's interesting. There's already a camera there. So let's see, what do I want to do? Well, I think, first off, let's make a platform so we can stand on something. Um, and then we can put like an FPS character there. I don't know how to do that, but we'll see. Um, all right, can I create a new node? Create a oh, 3D object cube. And let's put that there. Oh my gosh. Center that. Okay. Scale. Let's uh. Let's just scale that up. Or right, let's just keep that one. Okay. All right. All right. We have a cube, people. So now, let's do something a little more complicated. Let's try and make a character that we can control. 
Oh, well, we should probably make that an independent scene. So... How... Okay, here we have scenes. Simple scene. What's this? Oh, this, this, is, this is the scene we're on now. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's create a new scene. Oh my gosh. I, I just want a blank scene. Scene. New scene. Player. Alright, let's open this up. Okay. Alright, so in Godot, to make a player character, the, uh, usually, usually we do is create a, create a, like, a, like a body. It's like a little cylinder. I don't know why it just puts it, like, in a random location. Let's put it in the center. Oh, this is, this isn't a capsule. This is a cylinder. Okay, okay, so we can see it created a, this as a child of this one. So, we've got our familiar node tree. Um, let's just get rid of this. Delete. Alright. Capsule. Let's, uh, well, we already have a camera here, interestingly. So I guess we can, uh, we can just use that. Put the camera right in the center. Sure. It's kind of elevated a little bit, but that's fine. Alright. Let's create a script. Uh, let's see. O plus. No, I want to create a script. Game. Okay, so that's that's our camera's view. Alright, makes sense. I've got an error. Missing reference exception. The object of type host view has been destroyed. We are still trying to access it. Okay. Alright, I give up. I'm going to look this up. Interesting. So it has to be an asset. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. Create menu. Um, assets create C sharp script. All right. Player. All right. Whoa. whoa. So let's let's open this. Can't. Oh. Oh. There we go. All right. Um, so it's opened up my text editor, which is kind of interesting. Now, I think I already sort of knew it did this. I think Godot was actually kind of unique. Like, oh, I mean, I don't know, because like, I only use Godot, but I think that in most game engines, you have to like have like a separate thing, or like a separate program entirely to write code, which just seems completely ridiculous. Like, the way it's built in, to, in Godot is just so intuitive. And, like, it's a text editor. Like, why does it... It's not like it's that, like, complicated, I, I, would, I would assume. Wouldn't be that hard to implement it into the engine, but... Alright. So. Um, yes, this is, this is, this is uh, C-sharp. Not uh, GDScript or Python, so... I'm probably gonna have to look up how to do this. Um, void start, void update. So is this like, like the ready function? So like this is on start and then update. It's like with each update, like um, like phys like physics process. All right. Well, I guess I'll look up how to write how to write in C sharp. Um, so yeah, I'll go, I'll go do that. Um, first person movement in Unity. First person games are of course extreme. <laughs> Component. Ah. Add component. Character controller. Alright. Alright, just move to that to be a child of that. And yeah, we've we now have a character controller, so. So that's interesting. So yeah, this is, um, well, this is not how Godot, uh, how Godot functions or anything like it. So we're starting to see the, uh, the fundamental differences between the engines. Oh, also, I don't think I said so, but, um, my, uh, one, another point for Godot 
for um, having an integrated, um, what's it, uh, an integrated development environment, I think is what it's called. All right, I'm creating a mouse look script. Oh, what is happening? Reload. Uh, okay. Can I, can I open this up? Um, hello? Oh, here we go. All right. So, yeah, I'm basically just going to be copying and pasting all this text here because I don't know C-sharp um, or Unity. So, yeah, I'll just... I'll get back to you. All right, I finished um, writing all that code. Let's see um, if it works. So, oh, obviously I have to go... Um, I have to... Uh, Save the changes. Yes, save changes. Alright, I'm gonna put my player scene here. And let me just. Uh, directional light. Oh, that's weird. Okay, it kept the directional light. Okay, I'll just move this up here. And then the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh my gosh, it almost sort of worked. Um, I can look up and down. So, hey, that's something. Um, alright, well I obviously did something wrong. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's just pause that for now. Alright, All right, I've been staring at this code for a few minutes now. And I'm not sure what I have done wrong. This is this, this is bringing me back to my uh, to my to my early uh, Godot days, watching um, G uh, GD Quest tutorials. <laughs> I did it for for a second. I did it for a second. I had it. I I found what I had done wrong. I had, so I was watching the Brecky tutorial, and I must have like just missed something that he did. He like connected um or where was it? Yeah, I think he, he like connected um like the player body to the camera or something. I don't know. I, I, I did it, um, and it worked. I was able to look in both, or, you know, X and Y axis with the camera. Um, I, I didn't catch it on, I didn't, I wasn't able to record it because I just, I wasn't recording. I was just, you know, trying to figure it out. Um, so then what I did is I, I edited the code to increase the, um, the mouse sensitivity and it gave me an error. And I tried fixing it, and it just gave me more and more errors. And the number of errors increased until this is where I am now. All compiler errors have to be fixed before you can enter play mode. I don't know, it says down here, argument out of range exception. I don't know what this is referencing. Index was out of range, must be non-negative and less than the size of the collection. In Godot, <laughs> in Godot, when there's an error, it just, it literally just points to where in the code the error is. But, um, Unity doesn't have an integrated, um, code editor, so it can't do that. Also, I'd just like to say, every time I, um, reload this scene here, it, like, deletes the player character. So if I go into another scene, if I go here, see? See? Look, where did it go? It just vanished. It's like I can put it back. There it is. I can press Control S or whatever. I don't know. There's no like. It's not really clear on like whether or not something's saved. And then I can go back in here. And then it's gone again. What is this? Uh, what's that? Two more points for Godot? I don't know. I'm. 
I'm, oh yeah, I should probably mention, I'm recording this like days after that last segment you just saw. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I just, guys, I don't know. I think, I think I'm gonna have to come back to this because quite frankly, I, uh, well, I obviously don't know what I'm doing, but I will not be defeated by the Unity engine. No, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to come back to this in a little bit when I, when I can. I, I want to work on my, on my, uh, Godot game right now. Oh, you can, you can see it right there. So I guess this is, this is part one, and then in part two, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, so thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It really helps the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.